When it comes to play to earn crypto based games, everybody is looking for the next big earning opportunity. There are so many games being tossed out there that sometimes it's hard to wade through all the crap and get to the stuff that's actually going to be profitable. Today I'm gonna to show you a game on Binance Smart Chain that has some pretty good potential and if it continues its uptrend right now, it could be one of the winners. Are you ready? Hey there crypto friends, thanks again for joining me. Binance Smart Chain has been one of the up and coming NFT and play to earn gaming blockchains for a while now. Uh, recently rebranded here to BNB Chain so we're kind of using those interchangeable it's smart chain, it's BNB chain, but officially now BNB chain. Uh, but in particular on BNB chain here, there have been some pretty low quality projects that just didn't stand the test of time. You really never know. It's hard to know what's going to be a really good project. Some things look great and then just don't have the longevity. But today we're going to look at a product that looks like it's off to a really great start and could be that next potential gem for some good ROI. But before we get started, if you love gaming, NFTs, and earning your money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Smash that like if you like what you see. And then jump in our community of stashers. Jump in Discord. That's where we hang out. And we talk about NFTs, gaming, and the metaverse all day long. So today's project is called My Rich Farm. Don't let the name fool you, but uh, there is some pretty good uh, you know, ROI for this game. It is essentially a Farmville style game where you're you know, building out your farm, you're raising crops and animals, and you're getting uh, you know, tokens for doing this. And a lot of this really depends on you know, the NFTs you hold. So like I said, this is on uh, Binance chain, BNB chain, and they have their own in-game token called RCH token or the rich token. And you earn daily rich rewards depending on the rarity of land NFT that you own. And there are four different land NFTs that you can own in this game. There's the beginner, intermediate, advanced, and supreme. <laughs> I love that it's supreme. And the supreme one is obviously going to earn you the most. Now, uh, if you're just going to be going for beginner, you're looking at maybe only earning about 30 cents daily. The intermediate lands is going to get you maybe around $1.50 per day. The advanced land is looking at about 875, 870 per day. And then that supreme land is where you can rake in about $20 per day. Now this does require obviously an investment up front here. And the ROI on this isn't the best ROI. It's a little bit of a longer ROI than what I would want here. But I think a lot of people see that and think it's a bad thing. Now what we see with a lot of these products that are come and go, and one of the reasons why we're putting a spotlight on this, is that these products offer insane ROIs in like a week. Like, oh, you're making 800% ROI in a week. That's a huge red flag. And to me, it means this project is not gonna make it. This uh, project here, though, uh, is, is not doing that. They're not going that direction. And it does require you to kind of be, you know, committed to this project. So I think that's a good sign. Uh, now, there are limited amounts of all these NFTs. In, for, for instance, the Supreme NFT land only has 15K. So there's very not many, there's not many out there, right? There's not many out there. The great thing about this is that even if you want to just test the game and don't want to just jump in right away and buy a land, you can go and rent a land from somebody else in the marketplace. And I think that's a really cool idea here behind this, being able to rent somebody else's land. We're seeing this in a lot of other games, but they have the, this built in here on uh, My Rich Farm. So, so I think that's a, it makes it more approachable to everybody, right? I think that's one of the big things we talk about is, is NFT gating as a term. You're gating access by NFTs, but we don't want to limit that to people who are rich, right? As, as, uh, that's why I thought it's kind of funny with this name, My Rich Farm, but they make it easy for people of all levels of income and, and you know bags, however big your, your bag or your stash is, you can still get in on this game and uh, rent some land to just kind of test it out and see if you like it. So, uh, you know, it, it, it is one of those styles of games that you gotta love that kind of 3D Farmville style game to be able to play this game, but there could be some good ROI in it for you. Right now, we have seen a steady rise in their token price despite this bear market. You can see here uh, over the last 30 days, we've seen a, a pretty steady increase with just one small dip here. But over the last 90 days, if you look at the 90 day chart, uh, there it's been on the rise for the last three couple months. So this is a pretty good, 
looking chart when you compare that to what we've seen in the rest of the market and where the token prices have been up and down and up and down but mostly sideways action you know like recovering some of the gains loss but then giving them right back uh the rch token has not been doing that so when it comes to the total supply here of the token one thing that i also really like that stands out to me is that 80 percent of their token supply is going into p2e rewards so you're, you're not looking at massive lockups by the team or crazy governance schedules. You know, most of this uh, you know, token is going to people that are going to be playing this game and essentially farming their token, right? By farming. <laughs> so uh, the, the interesting thing about this too is they understand the need for having a sync in the game as well. So gameplay does requ require RCH tokens to be able to like farm your land and, and you know, get, harvest your crops and whatnot. So there is that uh, burn mechanic there, and they also have other burn mechanics when it comes down to you know adding things to the stuff like their governance pool and uh, you know transaction fees and stuff like that. So uh, we don't see a huge inflationary supply of RCH where it just continues to go down, which I think is one of the other reasons why we have seen such a steady increase in the token price. The interesting thing about this too is that they also take consider uh, considerable amounts to uh, you know have a really secure interface. So this game uses both a private wallet like your MetaMask and then also in-game wallets for security of your assets, uh, which I think is kind of nice. You know, it's not just using relying on MetaMask or not just relying on, on an in-game wallet, but a combination of both to kind of store some of your stuff st short term and long term for playing. Uh, now, in addition to the gameplay, there is also some cool reward systems they have in place here. Uh, they do have a referral system where you can earn USDT, which is kind of nice. And they also have this, this kind of interesting letters uh, er earning system where you can earn the different letters I R I C H for special prizes that kind of, you know, go with your, uh, with, with your farming efforts. In particular, the coolest one I saw was an automated drone. So if you get, I think it was uh, the letter I, I believe, I, it's one of the letters there, but uh, you get an automated drone that essentially will you know harvest your stuff for you and so you having to go do it which i think is kind of interesting so kind of a cool way to to incentivize people to want to keep playing and get the friends to play as well now when it comes to a product like this it's not without its downsides and we've got to keep that in, in mind when we do our research on this the one thing i will say is that withdrawals are kind of limited on the platform uh and there is a little bit of a longer roi like we talked about not necessarily a bad thing but uh, you know, it depends on how long term this game ends up being, and how long term you want to be invested in this game. And the other team, obviously, is the team is not Docs, so that's the other thing that uh, you might want to take in consideration. It's not a Docs team. You know, it's something that you know I wouldn't say is a full red flag. We've seen teams that are fully Docs totally run away with and rug pull people's money. We've seen teams that aren't do amazing jobs and you know foster great communities and games. So definitely things you do want to take in consideration when you're looking at this product, those withdrawals is definitely one of the biggest downsides that I've seen here. Uh, other than that, uh, like I said, I think this could be one of the next uh, you know up and coming games on Binance Smart Chain that uh, you know actually can give some pretty good uh, income there uh, by playing. So let me know what you guys think about uh, My Rich Farm. If this is your style of game, I want to know if this is your style of game. That's my biggest question is that do you like to play these style of, uh, you know, browser based kind of farming type of games? Let me know in the comments below. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.